It is uh, a new day here in the Algarve, and really one of the things that we came here especially to do is to hike. Unfortunately, since I've been under the weather, Bill a little bit under the weather, we haven't been able to do as much hiking as we wanted. But we've saved the best for the day when we feel the strongest. We are going to hike the Seven Hanging Valleys Trail and it is an out and back trail, which means it's one direction. It's 11 and a half kilometers if you make it both ways. Our plan, since we don't have the stamina we normally do, is to hike all the way to one end and hopefully catch a cab back. And if not, I guess we'll be walking the whole 11 and a half kilometers. We're gonna figure out why it's hanging valleys and why are there seven of them? I guess we'll have to count. This cat just jumped into my lap. <laughs> are you gonna leave now? Nope. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Here's a map of what we're doing today. We are starting in the furthest point east, heading west with the sun at our backs. And here are the seven hanging valleys, uh, at least when we expect to see them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we hit here and hopefully we find a cab back. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. Um, all the rain, we left that behind in the north, and we're really looking forward to exploring this part of Portugal. Our starting point for this walk is Praia Marina. Marina Beach. And it's beautiful. The rock formations that are around here are stunning. This beach is extremely popular in the summer months. But as you can see in early November, it's pretty uncrowded. It's amazing. In a number of places along here, they've got these I don't know, sinkholes, I guess you could call them. We can't actually see the bottom. This one we can hear the ocean in the bottom of, but can't, can't actually see the bottom. I can't see anything. It's way down there. decided to come along the trail be where there are no bathrooms so we've come to our first village and we're gonna see if we can find ourselves a bathroom by way of buying a coke or a coffee there aren't many along the route at least uh, but this village with the beach actually does have a set of bathrooms for free just a quick update my all trails app says that we've gone about one and a half miles and we've been walking for about an hour so I guess that's, what, a third of the way done? Somewhere between a quarter and a third of the way done. So far, I think I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, we'll see if we can keep the pace up. Actually, that pace sucks. We don't stop it while we're videoing. <laughs> so we should be able to keep that pace up. <laughs> As we're walking along here, there's a, a beach every few hundred yards, and it's just lovely. The weather's great. The uh, waters are this nice, tranquil, aqua blue color. It's great. And we've caught up with this giggly French tour group, which is kind of funny. <laughs> we love them. And now we're giggling. <laughs> this is a lot of stairs. At a number of the beaches along here, you can take little boat rides and I think they're about 30 minutes, cost 15 euros and they pop you into six or eight caves, I'm assuming, depending on the, uh, the tide conditions, but they look like a lot of fun. All of a sudden we're walking in a forest. You get a little bit of everything on this walk. These pine groves are totally different from the first part of our walk. Looks like we go this way. Okay. It's kind of nice to have the cool shade. Ropes always mean adventure. <laughs> Now I'm confused which way do I go? I thought maybe it was left and right at the same time. This part is slippery. <laughs> you might want to get out of my way unless you want to get tumbled on too. 
That's why I'm recording it. <laughs> oh, good, thanks. <laughs> I knew he'd make it. Some beautiful and exclusive homes here hang on the cliff. Almost feel like I'm in Greece. We've seen fishermen at multiple points while we've been walking and it's so impressive because they are fishing from the top of the cliffs. What kind of fish and what size would they be catching? Big one. We, we haven't seen any yet, but I have to imagine these fish are huge. Stairs, what goes down must come back up. We've done a lot of these. We made it! Huh. That is either the end or the starting point, depending on your perspective. Time to see if we can find a cab home. We're, we're done. Our feet are tired and we're pretty hungry. <laughs> yeah. Here are some statistics about what we just did. We walked for three hours and ten minutes, we went four and a half miles, and we gained 2,316 feet of elevation, which also means we went down to 2,316 feet. Uh, so, not bad. And my All Trails app also says that I burned 1,400 calories, which I intend to go eat now. So, what did you think of the trail? Would you recommend it? So, yeah, I definitely go tr give it a go. Um, it's a little bit rugged in places. Mm -hmm. Um, so we chose sandals today. I think we both wish we'd have had proper hiking shoes. Our active sandals, which apparently are what they're called, uh, were just barely up to the task. Tennis shoes would have been a better call for this uh, path, but the hike was really nice. I would highly recommend it. The views are amazing. Fantastic views, the, pretty much all the way. The cliffs are just incredible. Um, so I'd really recommend it if you're in this area. I didn't think the hike was too hard. Uh, it said it was a moderate difficulty and I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah, nothing was too terribly difficult. Just the, there's lots of little rocks and your feet kind of slip on them a little bit. So sho better shoes would have been better. Well, we called in Uber and it's a whole six euro back to our car, so we are thrilled about that. Money well spent. Yeah.